My name is Felipe, I'm from uh, Melton and I work here at the Melton um, community and I do some different things. So what I do is I um, get, um, I help people play music and I also play in uh, a band with for the festival called the Meltones, which is just a bunch of people that are in the community that love to play music, love to hear music. And um, yeah, so we will be performing at the festival this weekend. Well, I'm excited to perform at the Dream Big Festival because it's a fun festival. Uh, There's um, lots of variety and uh, a good time for all. Okay, so my earliest memory of music was when I was like 12 years old and I took my first guitar lesson. And I, I won't go much into that. <laughs> Oh, what I love most about music is the creativity, the expression, and the the sheer love that people have for this type of art form. I love my community because it's diverse. It has a great amount of like people from so many different places that can um, usually they congregate together as well and they mix together. So it's a beautiful community to be part of. Tim Snen here again, at Dream Big Melton. We're just tuning in to Aish who's running an Indian meditation session and we just sort of tune in, zone out and relax with Aish as she has this guided meditation. So I hope you'll enjoy, uh, again, another fantastic element of multiculturalism down here with history, knowledge and wisdom to share. You're a dream big Melton. I'll let you tune in now. When, even when you walk on the bare food, you know, on the earth, Mother Earth, you feel the connection, you feel the bliss. And when you sometimes eat food, natural food, without any, uh, you know, additives, preservatives, colors, and just natural food, you feel good, you feel light. Similarly, this practice is very natural. It's not something artificial imposition on our mind, but rather it's very natural process. So the mantras, nothing but sound vibration, sacred sound vibration. And this transcendental sound vibration has the potency to cleanse our heart, cleanse our mind, cleanse our thoughts, replace our negative thoughts with the positive attitude. That's, that's all what we need. Sometimes, uh, you know, someone comes and complains about something, then we just get attracted to the thought. And then guess what? We start to think about, you know, think like that just immediately. That's why we need to associate with uh, the things in mode of goodness. I was just doing um, World Kitchen demo. <laughs> Thank you. I was just doing World Kitchen demo. There I was mentioning about there are three modes of material nature mode of goodness and mode of passion and mode of ignorance so we all you know sometimes in the morning we are very fresh and happy and nice we say good morning and that that's where we are in the mode of goodness and in the afternoon we are so busy we want to get the work done and just just being more passionate about things to get done and you know become more successful that is mode of passion and mode of ignorance where in the evening we are done for the day. We are so tired, we can't do anything. That's, that's how it is in the mode of ignorance. And I was also saying about the food that we eat or also categorized under these three modes. So we try to associate with the things that are in mode of goodness. And this mantra meditation is in mode of pure goodness. Okay. So let's start with the deep breathing exercise. And then we will go into the mantra meditation. So just uh, relax yourself and take a deep breath in and out. Just when you deep breathe in, you can count to two seconds. And when you deep breathe out, count up to four seconds. So just two and then four. Let's do this for five times. Let's start. Breathe in. One, two, and then Breathe out. One, two, three, four. Then again, breathe in. One, two, and then breathe out. One, two, three, four. So let's do it again. Breathe in. One, two, and then. One more. 
more time. Deep breathe in. One, two. Breathe out. One, two, three, four. So breathing definitely helps us calm our mind to start with, but that's that's not all. We need to really calm our mind through some process, through, through some technique. So meditating on the light or meditating on the void will not take us uh, to the goal, actually. So therefore, because they are still material, right? The light is still material. So therefore, we need something spiritual to connect ourselves with the Supreme Self. To connect the self with the Supreme Self is called yoga, okay? yogic process, yogic technique. So this mantra is the word coming from, San is a Sanskrit word, it's an ancient uh, word, it's more than 5,000 years ago this practice came into existence. And this is uh, coming from two different words actually, manaha and rayate, that means delivering our mind. So delivering our mind is called mantra. And meditation means deep contemplation on something. But when we meditate on mantra, so we are having some we are holding on to something, we are having some grip on something that is not material, rather spiritual, that way we don't lose the grip. Because if you are, you know, if uh, if I am drowning under the water and if someone is also drowning under the water trying to help me, we are not both of us going to be drowned. So that's why we need something superior, something super powerful, right? So that is not material. So that is simple as that, that spiritual is what we need to get ourselves connected with the Supreme. So we'll start with a simple mantra. It's called Om Mantra. It's just two letter word. So what we do is we can close our eyes and we can sit in a prana mudra that means the two fingers, the last two fingers touching each other with the thumb and then you can put that on your knees and then you can sit straight and relaxed, shoulders relaxed, facial muscles relaxed, just calming yourself, you just, whatever the thoughts come, you acknowledge and let it go, okay? So we don't need to hold on to the thoughts. Sometimes we, instead of responding to the situations, we react and overreact. And that's where the problem complicates. The problem is there, but the choice is like ours. How do we treat the problem? How do we handle the problem, correct? So when we practice this mantra meditation, what happens is we get that intelligence, the rational intelligence, the emotional intelligence. So how do we handle the situation, whether that is emotional or financial or whatever it is, how do we handle that will come into the light when we practice this something spiritual, okay? Because we are not this body, we are the spirit. And we think that I am an Australian or American or Indian. No, I am this spirit. I am, a, I am the spirit. I am not this body. I am in this body. When we have that detachment, what happens, some, whatever happens to that situation, to the body, we will just become an observer. We always have been an observer, but because of contamination of our mind and thoughts, and we identify ourselves with the body and get confused and think, oh no, this is personal. We take everything personally, correct? This is only for the body. So we yes, we need to acknowledge and we need to, I know, uh, respond to it. I'm not saying we can get out of it, just like that, but we need some intelligence. How do we handle the situation, whatever it is, whether it's loss of job or this COVID situation. I, one can imagine how stressful the year was, correct? But when we have this kind of practices, you know, in our hand, in our life, day-to-day -day life practice, it's so easy. Whatever the life throws at us, we'll be like, I understand. This is what you expect from the material world, nothing more, correct? Because material world is full of this kind of ups and downs. So we just understand that and accept that and then move on. 
so we practice this sound vibration first mantra is om and this means this is the first sound of the universe even the nasa mentioned that this is the uh, sound uh, similar to the sound of the sun planet but we are not going to go into the science or anything for now but just just for our own uh, you know uh, technique the pro practice we are going to start this mantra so it goes like this we deep breathe in and then when we breathe out we chant om okay so again sitting um, very relaxed deep breathe in you can do it with me now your turn just deep breathe in and om we do this few more times so deep breathe in breathe out and say couple of more times to so breathe in and breathe out That was when before starting the actual mantra meditation. This is also mantra meditation. There are so many mantras available, and we are going to practice the next one is the the greatest of all mantras. You know, if I tell you this is the best of all fruits, you wouldn't want to waste your time trying other fruits, but rather you get one best fruit and just get all the nourishment that you need. Correct. Similarly, this is best of all mantras that I'm going to teach you now. and let's practice that and every day the mantra meditation practice that i personally do this is the mantra that i practice uh, and my family as well so this is called maha mantra meditation maha means greatest so greatest of all mantras okay so this mantra meditation that just simply we are calling out that supreme energy to give us that intelligence and the knowledge to connect ourselves back with the supreme so we get that real inner peace eternally not just for one year not just for two years but eternally that's that's the real goal of uh, this practice of maha mantra meditation so this maha mantra has three words hare krishna and rama so it's going to be repeated and i'll just say it one time and then you can repeat it with me repeat after me so hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare so we are going to sing this a mantra in a tune just to you know sometimes we love music naturally right so we sing it in a tune so that way we can enjoy the practice also no hard and fast tools for this practice anyone can practice this any time of the day any place at any circumstances especially when you're really down you know you don't want to do anything with your life that's exactly when you must practice this and oh you're at, you're so ecstatic you're so blissful and that's exactly when you must practice this because this is something you do this every day and any time place and circumstance so i'm going to do this in a tune now
just will make it simple tune that way it's just easier to digest and if you cannot follow the words of the mantra don't worry um, just simply observe the benefit is so so powerful even if um, I give this example when you take a headache medicine you don't know what the chemical composition it has but it works similarly this mantra has so much power you don't need to know about uh, what, what's it about what's the meaning but even though the meaning is it's called supreme energy uh, but it just works so much uh, powerfully and spiritually what to speak of material things you whatever the material desires you have that will automatically come fulfilled okay because that's how powerful it is so let's go let's go for it so i'll chant and then you follow it and again if you cannot follow it's okay simply listen just close your eyes and listen and then you will pick it up very soon it's so easy Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, come on. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. One more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much for engaging yourself in the mantra meditation practice. Whether you sang it along with me or just observed, the benefit is 
supermost and it is still the same and I recommend you all to practice this every day. Please. It's called Mirror Me.
Hello, it's Tim Snen here. I'm just quickly checking in at the World Kitchen. We've got Koi cooking a papaya salad with Sue's this fantastic kitchen hand who's doing some mortar and pestling and David the MC. David, say good day. David, hello. Hey. Uh, thanks very much. Hi. We're cooking on. See you, Ralph. Back to you. Thank you.
Hello, and we're back at the World Kitchen. I've got my good friend David here, who's the host. David, how's it cooking? Oh, no, we are, like, we're cooking up a storm over in the World Kitchen. Uh, Koi is there. We've got a traditional uh, street food, a Thai salad, papaya salad. Paw paw, right? Papaya. Beautiful. And before that, uh, we had some uh, uh, yogic nutritional cooking. So food that's good for your soul. And we learned all kinds of things about digestion and chewing your food and when to drink water and all right. Thanks, David. All right, no Back worries. to you, Catherine, on the main stage. Okay. This is called Resurrected.
G'day, Tim Snedden here again at the Melton Dream Big Festival. I'm just here in the dance stage. Uh, now, I'm up soon uh, after Catherine finishes on the main stage with their performance, Change the Channel. The Dream Big Circus Club are Bree, Jake, and Holly, who also record audio for this show at home during school holidays. Harmony, Militia, and adult performers Rin and uh, Nick. Uh, and the Circus Club meets on Fridays after school in Melton. Dream Big Circus Club started up in Melton South in 2018, growing out of circus workshops in local schools. Practices are free and they happen on Fridays after school. You can find out more by drawing links on the Dreamy website. Uh, we'll just cut back to Ralph on the main stage, but we're starting here very soon. Thanks, Ralph. Hey 
they might be that way. Excuse the profanities. It just slips. Thank you very much. Hello, Tim Snedden here again at Dream Big. Uh, we're here at the circus performance about to happen by the Dream Big Circus Club. Uh, it's very exciting. There's some very tall friends about to walk in through the gate here. Um, come over check out what they've got in store. Tim Snedden, Dream Big, come on down, plenty to see you. See you later. Oh, look at all of you down there. <laughs> look at you. You're tiny. <laughs> Looks like you're all waiting for something to happen. Wonder what that could be. Oh well. Oh look over there, look, sausages. Hey, what's this? It looks like some kind of remote. Who would need a remote this big? Hmm, I don't know. Wow, look at all these buttons. Let's see what they do. This one says hungry. Maybe it brings us Uber Eats. I'm hungry. Let's push it. Strange. I'm still hungry. Let's try the other buttons. Let's try this one. No, this one.
That was cool. I want to choose a button this time. No, it's my turn. Hey, give me that. No, it's my turn. Well, let's try this button again. Hey, where's my voice going? Hey, that's not nice. <laughs> this is really weird. Let's push the big one. It is well known that cats like to play with yarn, but lesser known is that they also love to play with hula hoops. I didn't know cats could hula hoop, did you? No. Do you think that maybe this remote came from outer space? Let's try this one. Oh no, this one. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, stop it. Everyone, stop bickering. Maybe we need to push this teamwork button.
Wow, that was amazing. Let's push all the buttons at the same time. Uh oh. I think we actually kind of broke it. So what should we do now? I don't know. Maybe we should take it to the lost and found. Yeah. That's probably for the best. Yes.